So by now you only put in one uh, tray of eggs and at the end of the line you just collect the tray with only female eggs and there's no hands in between. Well, we have uh, quite, a, quite a few new, new developments on, on our machine. So we have our basic technology, which is our circuit, which is the heart of what you see behind me here, uh, which is very, well, very strong technology already, giving very high results, high accuracy. But we, uh, we have a few add-ons to, uh, to that technology. And uh, the most important thing is that we will start with a fully automated process now. So until so far, there was quite some manual labor but we took that completely out. So by now you only put in one uh, tray of eggs and at the end of the line you just collect the tray with only female eggs and there's no hands in between. So with that we reduce time quite critically, we do reduce cost price and we're even able to get even more accurate than we were, than we were so far by taking away manual labor. So this, uh, this should help actually our hatcheries to perform even better, get our cost prices down and with that, we hope, or we think actually, that the market for innovative sexing will, uh, will further grow. What the whole setup does is actually deliver a female egg. So for this, you do not have to kill any males anymore. The process will start with bringing in eggs and candling out, so sorting out the infertiles. So it's an infertile egg will never hatch into a nice chick. So that we take out of the process. And with that, we are able to increase uh, the speed of our technology a bit because there's no more no samples every egg in there actually leads to a chick at the end of the day then we take it along a nice a nice strip we do a pcr test so that we know which dna if there's female dna or male dna um, and then uh, then we will that is completely automated as well so this dna test is something that used to be done in the um, uh, yeah in a lab right so with a lot of lab machines taking up to an hour and we reduce that to only 25 minutes. By reducing with 25 minutes, we, we bring so much more efficiency to the whole setup. So, uh, so we're, we're actually helping therefore in labor cost and also cost price again to make sure that it's way, way cheaper. At the end of the line, as soon as we have the test results back from our, our lab machine, the thing in the back with the DNA label on it, um, we bring all the results into the sorter and it will sort out all male eggs, just a half a tray. Those will be used for pet food. Uh, and we have a full tray of female eggs being put back in the incubator on day nine, all the way until day 21, until we have this really beautiful new chicken. I think the takeaway message is that, uh, that this is a very stable solution nowadays, also very cost effective, but we haven't reached the rock bottom yet. We are able to bring down cost price in the next years to the level that we, we feel should, should actually reach the level of hatching a male. And therefore a whole new world would open up because if you do not want, if you do, there's no financial need anymore to hatch a male, then, then you could, well, stop chick calling on a global scale. And that is our goal, that is where we want to go.